good afternoon everyone uh, today we have with us uh, divyansha who got offer from uh, google in off campus congratulations divyansha again from our team uh, in two crack and uh, thank you for sharing your experience thank you sir for inviting me again to share my interview experience glad to be here yeah so tell us about the company and the role for which you have got the offer and elaborate on the process uh, how you have been shortlisted and how you have applied okay so as we know google is one of the five big companies in the it industries so it has to fight for almost every technical skill and i applied for the role of software engineer at google india in late august i came across an open position for software engineer role for university graduates of 2022 batch in bangalore office so i applied directly to their career portal not via any referral and i was fortunate enough that my profile got shortlisted and in september end one of the google recruiter approached me and she found my profile interesting and appropriate for software engineer position so i was kind of lucky here and then she asked me whether i am interested for this position and once i showed my interest she asked me for my resume for further steps she also briefed me about overall process and shared with me lots of resources to prepare well after all this she asked me for a time slot when she can place a call in the upcoming weeks and how much time i required to prepare as my preparation was full so i told her that i am prepared and you can schedule whenever you wish to and this is how it all started okay so totally how many rounds were there in this whole process so sir after recruiter pre screen there was first a phonetic interview round and it was followed by three on site sessions and okay. all these four interviews were conducted on google meet only and finally after clearing all the interviews there was a hiring committee review round okay so there is no written test no it was directly short listing of resume okay i think it varies from position to position like the role based on the role uh, sometimes they have the written test and sometimes i think they are having only interviews yes sir and also they keep a track on all your uh, programming you do and in various competitions you took part in previous uh, days so i think they got my profile from the previous uh, participations of mine Okay. in various uh, challenges that google uh, sponsors okay so uh, tell us about the first round how it started and what are the questions they asked during that round uh, so sir first round was 45 minute long and it was food interview round and but as i mentioned earlier it was conducted on google meet only so this round started with first of all a brief intro and uh, all the interviewers of google were so nice and polite So in the start we have a short discussion over my project and my internship and it lasts for 10 to 15 minutes and then he gave me a DSC based questions of difficulty I should say medium level of lead code and it was from advanced data structures like PP and graph based question and uh, after this I was able to write good quality code and uh, we also had a good discussion about the optimized solution using different data structures as needed so then we had a discussion on time complexity of my solution after this he was satisfied and then he gave me a follow up question and the main aim of these follow up questions is to see the flexibility of your code and how can you modify your thought process and solution accordingly and they want syntactically correct and fully functional and clean approach so you should know the context of each and every step you are taking and i also found that uh, i got an edge for my speed that mm. i had very good practice so i speedily coded my approach and this gave me time to think for as cases and yeah fair enough time to try and my approach to totally how long it went and when you got the result for this round uh, so sir it was 45 minutes long and after first round on the same day i got mail from my recruiter that i have cleared this round and she wants to head me forward to on site rounds and she asked me for my availability for a week long and i didn't have any other extra work so i gave her my availability for the upcoming week 
Okay. So on site round, you have to travel somewhere, or they have conducted in Google Meet only? Ah, uh, sir. Uh, before uh, this pandemic, we had to travel to Google office. But now uh, they are only taking it for virtual, so they are simply virtual interview rounds conducted on Google Meet. Okay. So, uh, how long it went? Like, what are the questions they asked in that round? Ah, uh, so sir, overall there were three sessions of on-site round. The first two session uh, were conducted on the same day. And back to back, and these rounds were, I should say, difficult than the phonetic round. That was the first round, and in the first uh, on-site round, it was a uh, one-hour long, forty-five minute coding and fifteen minutes Googliness round. The coding of this uh, this uh, on-site round was of hard level, and Googliness round is basically the HR round. And in this round, they check whether you are culturally fit for the company or not, your mindset. And you have to imagine yourself as a Googler, and then uh, how would you react to different situations given by the interviewer? And questions were undoubtedly a bit tricky, but yeah, it was fun. The strategy uh, to ace this round is be honest, and it will really help you. Okay. So after this, yeah, on the same time as the first onsite round ended, I had my second onsite round, and this round was forty-five minutes long. Again, the questions were tricky uh, of advanced data structures and algorithm, and this time interviewer was mainly uh, mean so keen to get optimized solution, and I had to code two questions completely with their follow up question. So yeah, my speed and thought that he helped me a lot to ace this round. The main thing is that you should be thinking out loud at every stage, so that interviewer can be more likely. Uh, Comfortable with you, and we can have a healthy discussion uh, with the interviewer. Okay. So this was how the second round ended. Okay. When you got the result for this second round? On the same day, after one hour, I got call from my recruiter, and she told me happily that I cleared my both rounds, and she scheduled my next round up to two days. So these two onsite rounds were basically the elimination round. Uh, so I was lucky enough that I cleared them, and after two days I had my third onsite round. So this third onsite round again, it's a technical round or it's uh, just a HR? So it was one hour long, forty-five minutes coding. Okay. Four complete PSA and fifteen HR. We we should say Googleness round. Okay. So here also again coding was lead code hard. Again, okay. advanced data structure discussion about different data structures and the follow up rows, space time complexity. After this, fifteen minute Googleness question, and it went well too. Okay, so uh, there were three rounds. Like when you got the final result? Ah, uh, sir. After four or five days, my recruiter again get back to me, and she told me that I have cleared all my interview round, and now she want to take me in the next step of the process. Which is a hiring committee review. So she asked me for a few documents like my transcript, my internal employee reference, that is any of my senior who is working in Google currently and can give reference for me. Uh, and then she created a packet consisting of all my interview feedbacks, my code, and all other stuffs. And uh, then even though you have cleared your interview rounds, that doesn't guarantee that you are finally selected by Google. Your fate is decided by this hiring committee review, and how it gives a green or red signal is still mysterious. Nobody knows how it works. But yeah, after I was very fortunate, and ten to fifteen days later, I got finally my offer for SWE position from Google, and yeah, the hiring committee finally approved my packet. Okay. So it was a miracle and yeah. dream come true for me. To get offer from my dream company. Okay. Any suggestions you want to have? Yeah. Before that, uh, can we discuss about your projects? Yeah, sure, okay, sir. No. Yeah. So the main thing is, first of all, I should say is your resume that you are putting while applying for Google. Like as I directly applied from their career portal, so my resume got shortlisted. My resume was a mixed resume. It was not a uh, completely coding. Uh, it was a mixture of coding as well as my different projects. Uh, my projects mainly comprises of my internship that I did at uh, Islo. I am also currently doing SD internship at 
a mystery INC, which is US based startup. So uh, all these helped me and along with it, my uh, projects include uh, some of the uh, hackathons that I have participated uh, during my college time in my second to third year. And uh, contests, I should say, I used to give with this lead code weekly and all. Also, I participated in Google Kickstart. And uh, through this, I have not got very good rank, but my ranks were decent enough. And along with it, I used to take part in different coding challenges that are uh, like in uh, different, different hackathons that are being uh, conducted. So all this made my resume uh, completely uh, suitable for this software engineer position. Okay. Basically, Google Quick Start rank matters a lot. Uh, I participated in Google Hash Code, and there also my team got very good rank. So all this helped me. Any suggestions for somebody who want to prepare for uh, Google? I have to say you should be able to write good quality code. Uh, it should be a production level and optimized approach. You should have good grasp of data structures and algorithm. Think out loud at every step. And yes, practice more and more to improve your speed. Give contests. You should be more uh, targeted to improve your logics instead of cramming algorithms. So just work on building your logics, have a goal, think positive and stay motivated and do smart hard work. So the main thing during your interview is stay confident, give your best shot. Becoming nervous impacts not only your thought process, but also your coding speed. So yeah, be confident and always try to give your best. Okay. Yeah. One final question. Uh, do you think being in a CSE, uh, branch helped you to get this because generally when i had a discussion with other department people they straight away say no sir only csc people can get into it is it do you feel uh, you have an edge over it yes i have an edge for my branch because uh, in the first year only i got uh, an insight about cs fundamentals and i got an idea that what is my scope of interest that I want to go in dev, I go to want to let I want to explore data science and also being in CSE helped me to explore all the CS fundamentals and this also helped me uh, in data structures knowledge because all these stuffs were in our course. Mm -hmm. So like other branches had to uh, like manage their time in reading their code and also for this CS stuff. So they had to apply more efforts while for me like cs was my core and my interest so i was completely in cs i didn't uh, waste my time in any other thing and yeah cs i got my interest my interest was coding and amazing environment like my friends helped me a lot in the whole process used to give competitions together and yeah we helped each other in uh, improving ourselves so all this benefited me a lot okay so what about the package i know you have signed an uh, nda uh, still can you give uh, any idea about what is the package you have got yeah i should say one of the highest package of all the it industry is given by google with amazing perks and benefits like free food free travel and yeah it they are amazing benefits main thing it's google okay yeah that's so true. it's dream for all yeah 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 thank you divansha for uh, joining us and uh, we from mind to crack team we wish you all the best uh, for your career at uh, google thank you sir thanks a lot